Hey everyone and welcome into my new video series. This is called How to Not Suck at Teaching Music. Today I'm going to go over what I think is the most important element of being a good music teacher or at least how to not suck at teaching music and that involves ego, 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 ego. Ego is simply defined as someone's self-esteem or self-importance. Now, while I think it's important to be confident and to have that self-esteem when teaching music, in this case, I'm talking about how it's a negative and can negatively affect rehearsals, lessons, and most importantly, affect the students themselves. I see a lot of music teachers in public settings, private settings, rehearsal settings, lesson settings, and I see a lot of things that don't really help the students. And, uh, and that's really a shame because the lessons are about the students. And that's the first thing I'm gonna talk about here with ego is the lessons and just teaching music in general is about the student. It is not about the teacher. You are there to help them learn music or show them something. It is not a vehicle for you to puff your chest out and say, I am doing this and look how good I'm doing this and look how great I am. The role of a teacher is to teach and to instruct and to enlighten and all those other things. It is not a performance, a self-performance. It is not a recital. Uh, those are separate things. The next thing about ego in teaching music and why I think uh, a lot of teachers struggle with this is that they think their anecdotal evidence now directs how they should teach every single lesson. And let me explain. I hear this a lot from teachers. I've played with this person, or I've played with this person, or I toured with this band, or blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know, look how good I am. Look at my recording. Look at, look at this album I was on. Look at all these other things I've done. I've taught these kids. Look how great my former students have done. They've made this band. They made it into this college. They've gotten this award. And, and while those things are great, um, it doesn't seem to help the student that's there in front of you. Um, I believe if you're teaching a student anything in music, whether you're teaching a beginner student how to hold the instrument, you know, make a good sound, how to improvise, any of those things, um, you need to see where the student is at and figure out ways to help them develop from that point. You're not there to show them how great of a teacher you can be or how great of a teacher you were with other people. All that's going to end up doing is making them more frustrated and, and turn it back on themselves when they're not successful in something. Then they're going to think, what's wrong with me? I can't do this, blah, 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 blah. While it's great that you taught other students and you taught students who have done this, 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 and look how great this student is and look how great this student is. That's all fine and good. And it's great to, to show what performances you've done. I think that's a really important thing too. And that we'll touch on that in another um, episode here, but it is important to show that you've done these things and you've performed here, performed there. But when you use that as the reasoning for why you do everything and you say, you have to listen to me, I know what's right no matter what because I've played with blank. That's when there's a problem. So ego in teaching music is, is very prevalent and I think it stems from just insecurity in their own careers and insecurity in their own lives or insecurity in their own musical paths that they took. All musicians do have some form of an ego and you need to, to, to build your own career and to promote yourself and to do all those other things. And with ego comes self importance and, and self esteem that you can actually do something and you should feel confident in your ways of performing or in teaching or anything. But when it detracts from the student and from the lesson or rehearsal, that's where there's an issue. Um, I believe it's, it's a, it's a really, sad thing when you have a great performer who can actually teach really well and they let their ego get in the way and they, they make the ego their ego and their self-importance the highlight of the lesson and that's sad because it should be student-centered student-focused there's a lot more things I can get into about ego specifically but I'm gonna chop this whole series up into smaller shorter videos for you guys so it's a little bit easier to watch and a little bit easier to go through um, I'm going to keep one, each one focused, so I hope you dug this. I'm going to be coming up with a whole bunch of these episodes, and they're just going to be more of me talking and, and just kind of ranting, if you will, about some of the things that I, that I see, and hopefully they can help someone out there or at least rethink how their own teaching methods are working, or if you're a student out there and you're teaching and you're wondering why you're not improving and you think your teacher is doing some of these things, 
you know, there are a lot of great teachers out there. I'm not saying that all teachers have a bad ego and they're, they're making it all about them, but it is a big problem, I think. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you found it informative. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe, browse my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.